The federal government says the foundation for a resurgent economy has been laid in the past eight years. Minister of Works and Housing Babatunde Fashala said this during an interactive session between government officials and members of the organized private sector. Our correspondent Justin Akadonia reported that the session is coming ahead of next week's national elections. Members of the organized private sector, federal and legal state government officials gather here to dialogue on key economic reforms that will put Nigeria back in the progressive lane. Governor Somolu takes to the podium to speak on his themes agenda and how impactful it has been over the years. Um, the GDP of Lagos is clearly over 120 billion right now, so which makes it closer to 30% of the GDP of our country. And of course, the GDP is bigger than the GDP of Kenya, it's bigger than the GDP of Ghana, it's bigger than the GDP of Ivory Coast. And so you can see that indeed your city, your state, is in itself a big country that we're all just struggling you know, to fit into. The interactive forum breaks into a panel session. Ben Akabuizi. Thank you. A round of applause for him. Issues bordering on infrastructure, sustainable development goals, post-COVID-19 economy to immigration of Nigerians top the discuss. We must all sit together and decide what we want. Um, infrastructure can never be seen as short-term. Uh, so we need to understand it, that it is a long-term strategy. How do we effectively work with you to make this a policy? So working with government, it's very important that you make it policy-driven for us as private sector to be able to work with you. According to the federal government, the country's infrastructure stock moved from 20 to 35 percent in seven years, despite being faced with the challenges brought by COVID-19. Against all the odds, this government and this party turned around what was a global impact at a local stage, and we have had consecutive growth. What the presidential candidate, by his manifesto and by our disposition, want to do now is to multiply 3% growth to 7, 8, and more percent growth so that the benefits can then be felt. But we want more uh, support, participation from the private sector. We, government alone cannot do this. We need your support. And of course, in two ways, private investment, corporate social responsibilities, and all other participation you can you can think of if you look at the public expenditure to gdp ratio also we are currently as nigeria at about you know 13 percent of of gdp again even the african average is about 22 uh, you know percent not to talk of and on the continent of africa people like south africa the consensus here is that with a symbiotic relationship between the government and the organized private sector the economic drive of lagos and the federal government can be sustained justin akadonye plus the news lagos